ケダンルダンネジネケトゥブンタダミケナムタンドワクンジダケチェザンバルタンチェケドダギチュテントダチャケトンバニャメトゥベワンベシャプチェドルチマメバラゴウラドゥデゴスムクパチンベチャンサル
Sinthal. Hello, everyone over there. What should I say? Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, whatever is yours. So I greet you accordingly. I'm from this uh, very holy place, uh, one of the uh, holy place of uh, Chakrasambara, Kuluta. So I have been here for quite some time. Uh, I don't like the word lockdown. I'm locked up. And uh, this is a, uh, uh, a retreat uh, opportunity for me. Of course, by all means, I sincerely pray for all those people who really got affected by this pandemic and uh, also those uh, uh, doctors and nurses and first responders who were very, very diligently doing their duty for humanity. So my gratitude to them on behalf of humanity and also uh, I pray for everyone who is affected. Having said that, I guarantee you sincerely from my heart, without being presumptuous, we will overcome this for sure. And uh, uh, it will come back uh, the coming winter, but uh, uh, we will be ready for it. We will be ready and waiting for it, okay? And uh, we will have uh, some sort of uh, uh, vaccine. Uh, we will have uh, a good number of treatment and uh, uh, seven uh, uh, and half billion human beings are ready for something that is uh, also created by all of us together. This is uh, common uh, karma of entire humanity. Otherwise, entire humanity cannot suffer like this. You know, those little child, those retired uh, si uh, senior citizens, those uh, who are already very sick, they don't deserve to have some extra thing like this coming. Of course, it doesn't mean a person like me, who is ex-patient, I'm okay. So, uh, but I'm also uh, not uh, uh, in position to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, volunteer for such a pandemic uh, to uh, come and overwhelm upon me. But anyway, anyway, uh, having said that, uh, for me personally, it has been a very good opportunity to truly look into myself. And uh, all of you, I can recognize almost all of you. I'm not very good at recognizing people especially in cameras, because in camera everybody looks slightly different. And I don't recognize myself, because when I move my right hand, actually from camera the left hand is moving. When I move my left hand in camera, my right hand is moving. So I look like a left-handed or right-handed or whatever. And then I'm wearing my robe wrongly, and it doesn't look like the proper way. Actually, it should be worn other way around. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, that way, uh, sometimes hard to recognize, but I, I do recognize almost all of you, okay? Greetings for all of you. And uh, this time, the teaching is requested by Palpung, Ireland. Of course, I have been requested by 
so many centers and so many individuals, Palpung or not, doesn't matter, uh, for so many times, and uh, I didn't manage to fulfill their wishes due to many, many for unforeseeable circumstances. Uh, anyway, now uh, technology has it, and uh, I'm very happy to uh, talk with you from the middle of the Himalayan valleys, uh, uh, surrounded by Himalayan mountains, snow peaked actually, but here quite hot. Today is about 30, 35, 36 degrees Celsius, and uh, uh, so uh, so uh, very happy to have this uh, uh, condition here. Uh, I'm fulfilling the wishes of everyone, but uh, this time it is requested by Palpong, Ireland. Uh, we will have uh, uh, three sun, triple sun. So today is first sun, uh, 9th of August, Sunday. And uh, so next uh, uh, month, another Sunday, next month, another Sunday, I believe this one, this particular uh, uh, set of teaching uh, will be involved in uh, three sun, three Sunday, days of the sun. Uh, now the today's subject, a meaningful life. Okay, a meaningful life. Why there is a? Because each one of us at one time can have only a meaningful life. We cannot have uh, so many meaningful life at one time. So in this life, this one life that we are right now uh, 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 born with and uh, uh, also traveling through journey we take in this life so a meaningful life meaningful life in order to truly mean it we have to know the meaning of life then that has to be further translated into uh, meaning of life. So life, the meaning of life, then the meaning full life. First I wanted to make it very very simple. I wanted to use the most simple thought and philosophy and perception of me. Of course, that is coming from Buddha and all of my great masters, of course. But that's, this is how I think. Until I know myself, no matter how many things I know, I really cannot say I know anything. Until I know, myself. So that will be meaningful life. In this life, if I can recognize essence of me. What am I? So some people have uh, uh, lots of dog and uh, one goat as a house pet and that goat think he or she is a dog you know very confused one right so i don't mean that kind of knowing me 
of course, I know how I look. I know, mm, I, I know how I sound. Uh, I know many things about me. But those things are unimportant. The most thing is, what is me beyond my body, beyond my education, beyond my title, beyond my duty, beyond my hobby, beyond my good habit, beyond my rubbish. What am I? Who am I? So until I know that, then I really don't know the most important thing. Then some people might not understand that uh, easily, although it is very, very simple. Uh, if you don't know yourself, then, then how can you say you know anything, right? You can have uh, all kinds of degrees, you know. I have all kinds of titles, all kinds of, uh, plenty of everything. I have plenty of everything. But uh, my uh, sincere effort and sincere wish, uh, whenever there is an opportunity to sit down and meditate, whenever there is an opportunity to face a challenge, whenever there is an opportunity to uh, uh, teach somebody something like this, this is not somebody uh, uh, teach so many uh, through nobody. <laughs> Right? This is just a machine. It is not somebody. It is nobody. But uh, that nobody uh, communicates uh, between you and me. So, so uh, actually nobody is more powerful and important and more useful than somebody, right? So that way there is something going on with the Shunyata right here in this uh, uh, thing. Anyway, uh, now, if those, if there's someone who have little difficulty to <clears throat> to grasp uh, knowing yourself, then I will use another uh, uh, another uh, uh, let's say uh, 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 terminology. Entire humanity, from the beginning of the existence of the humanity, always try to achieve something. When they achieve something, then it only takes few days before they find something else to achieve. And when they achieve that, then they wanted to, after some time, then they wanted to achieve uh, something else. For example, the humanity is uh, uh, with the history filled with uh, 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 battles and wars and all kinds of things. Uh, these are all to be dominant, you know, dominate, to dominate. And uh, people uh, within the family try to dominate each other. Uh, people within the community try to dominate each other. In between communities try to dominate each other. From one clan to another clan try to dominate each other. And from one country to another country, try to dominate each other. And when this is a, a very big thing, you know, it doesn't involve just one person, then uh, we call it a, a conquer. You conquer another community. You conquer another race. You conquer another territory, another uh, nation. So that is conquering. Okay. Now, the teaching of Buddha, it all boils down 
for you to conquer yourself. You know, the teaching of Buddha is not for conquering anybody. You can conquer anybody, everybody, and you can be the superior to everybody. But still you think you are not superior enough. That means you did not conquer yourself. So the teaching of Buddha is to conquer yourself, conquer ourselves. Until I am able to conquer myself, I am not victorious by any means. So to be truly victorious, you have to be victorious over your own, again I use simple word, your own rubbish. You conquer yourself. Now, so that is the uh, meaning for life. If you are able to recognize yourself, and know yourself, then you had a meaning for life. If you are able to conquer yourself and be victorious over yourself, then you had a meaning for life. A meaning for life means that that's how I understand. You cannot have everything. It's impossible to have everything. But when you are content, then it is more than having everything. Because we have a little apartment with a, a three bedroom and only one and a half toilet. Uh, difficult, you know. So uh, when somebody wanted to have a shower, you have to get out of your room. Uh, so things like that. So, uh, so even that kind of uh, area, if we own, to keep it tidy, keep it clean, keep it pleasant, because it is. Uh, it makes you feel so filthy to live in a filthy place. You can be rich, you can be poor, but you should have everything in order. You should clean everything. And you shouldn't have uh, rubbish in your house. At least uh, it should be in your, uh, uh, a corner of your house in a rubbish bin, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, so, so to do that, how much effort do you have to put? So small thing like that. So if you have everything, you know, you only have to, there's no choice, but you have to brainwash yourself to think everything is taken care. It is impossible to take care of everything. No matter who you are, you have to take care of one thing at one time. One room at one time. You only have two hands and to clean everything, put everything in place, you have to do it. And then if there's 10 people working for you to do things for you, which sounds like me, lots of people around me doing things for me, then I might be sitting there and enjoying the tidiness, but I have to take care of them, you know? And uh, so that way, that way, I end up being everybody's servant. 
uh, 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 when it looks like they're all serving me. Of course, that's an honor. I'm not complaining, but that's how it works. So that way, until you have contentment, you don't have anything. So uh, I like to uh, mm, uh, uh, give you uh, uh, one by one this uh, particular mm, teaching uh, given by uh, great Tibetan king uh, Songtsen Gampo. Uh, the Songtsen Gampo is a uh, 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 great king during whose time Tibetan present writing system and present grammar is formulated by a very highly enlightened uh, person. Uh, who uh, is uh, responsible for all of the grammars. And uh, uh, of course, Tibet is there, like all the other uh, uh, people, uh, for many, many, many millions of years. So all these millions of years, uh, of course, there is language. Of course, there is a written language. Of course, there is all kind of uh, arts and uh, culture. Of course. But then uh, uh, a particular form of writing, which is so uh, easy to learn, and because it is so organized, and uh, uh, which is so rich that it can translate and explain very, very intricate and sophisticated subject, uh, none other than the teaching of the Buddha, and none other than all the great, great texts of uh, all these great Mahasiddhas and Mahapandits. So these are very, very difficult to, to uh, talk about. You know, I give you one example. Prajana Paramita. Okay, it start, starts with one particular short text, which everybody know, uh, which starts with, in Tibetan word, Ma Sam, Ma Sam, Je Me Shiraparuchin. You know? So it is ineffable. It is unthinkable. It is unexplainable. The Prajana Paramita. So how do you uh, explain ineffable, unthinkable, unexplainable? How do you do that? You can do that with uh, uh, you can do that with Tibetan language because of the Songtsen Gampo. And during the Songtsen Gampo's time, he have chosen, the story is very long, but uh, no time. We only have one and a half hour for today, right? So uh, the Tumi Sambota, uh, uh, 10, academic lineage, the first is started during the Songtsen Gampo, when Tumi Sambota was sent to India to learn the Sanskrit and create the Tibetan writing. So, so he wrote uh, eight texts and uh, we managed to lose six of them. We only have two. Uh, yeah over these uh, hundreds and hundreds of years, you know. Mm, so we managed to lose six of them. We only have two. And this two is plenty. This two we can, uh, we, we can uh, understand, uh, write, read, formulate, and, uh, and uh, teach the entire teachings of Buddha. And uh, so, to whom 
this uh, credit goes, of course, to Mr. Sambota, of course. But he is not an ordinary person like me, who uh, struggles with English vocabulary and uh, pronunciation gets also wrong so that uh, you natives have to mm, uh, shake your head a little bit to uh, get what I'm saying, you know. Uh, so uh, what did he say? Oh yes, 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 he, he, he said that, yes. So it, it sounds like a foreign language to you because of my, uh, you know, uh, uh, how do you say, shortcomings. But anyway, uh, anyway, uh, this uh, uh, particular uh, ability is uh, uh, developed through his practice. And uh, he uh, uh, became Mahasiddha, not just a learned person, not just a genius. And uh, he learned Sanskrit. So when Lord Buddha taught the teaching, of course, uh, Pali, Sanskrit, you know, all of this is the language of uh, India those days. So the teaching manifested that way. It doesn't mean Buddha needed a translator. If Buddha is teaching to you, uh, all of you nice translators, you will be jobless. Because uh, Buddha manifested uh, in all the language that uh, uh, the, the recipients uh, uh, are able to relate to. So that is why I said right at the beginning, Namo, Namo, Lai, Keta, Luta, Nijin, Ke, Chubum, Tata, Mi, Kenam, Tang, Rua, Kunji, Daki, Chitsampar, Tamchi, Kedo, Daki, Shudnto. In the language of the gods, language of Nagas, language of Gandravas, etc., etc. And then, of course, right now, language of the human beings. I don't know how many is covered here, but looks like many of you moving your, moving your lips. So that means you are uh, translating. So quite few. Uh, so, so this way, uh, Buddha manifests in all language. And uh, uh, they, they understand, they, under, they understood the Buddha's teaching according to their own capacity. Uh, I have uh, my notes and my texts and all kinds of things. I had to think what I'm going to say to you about the A meaningful life, uh, but it's not like that, spontaneous manifestation. So because of that, that Sanskrit language and uh, that Pali language that is blessed. So, so this language is a very, very highly developed language in writing and uh, speaking and also the sound, the science of the sound. You know, uh, uh, we all know that in the entire world, when somebody happy, they laugh, and it sounds the same. English person laughs, or Tibetan person laughs, or African person laughs, or somebody from middle of, uh, I don't know, tropical forest in Brazil. There's few people still left there who are not contact, uh, who have no contact with uh, 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 outside people, rather than their own tribe. I was told, I don't know, but if that is true, then, uh, then, uh, then, uh, uh, then, then, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, kind of uh, language, uh, people. Uh, if they're happy, sounds the same. If they're sad, sounds the same. If they're angry, sounds the same. Okay? So these, these are quite uh, uh, extreme. But then in between there, then they don't sound the same. You know? Uh, so, so like this. And then, uh, uh, so, uh, so that is the, that is the, um, uh, is very clearly explained in Sanskrit. 
uh, when a child is born, the first sound that newborn child makes is ah. Uh, I have never given birth, so I don't know. But uh, many of you know uh, what, what kind of sound a newborn child makes. You know, so uh, it's some, it's some kind of ah. And uh, so uh, all the sound, the basis of all the sound is ah. And uh, now uh, Sanskrit language is a very sophisticated, highly developed this way. And uh, uh, so uh, based on that, this uh, written Tibetan language and grammars are developed. And uh, few uh, uh, consonants has to be uh, uh, taken away from Sanskrit and few has to be added uh, because of Tibetan uh, language. But uh, base is exactly Sanskrit and rules of the grammars there are several types of grammars, so they all are uh, uh, based on Sanskrit. And uh, so this way, uh, this way, uh, this uh, great uh, uh, king uh, uh, managed to find this person uh, who developed into this kind of person who can create such thing in a very short time. It didn't take many life, just a few years. He have it all figured out. And uh, so, so there, this great king, uh, based on uh, 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 the uh, Lord Buddha's teaching, uh, uh, the sutra, which is, uh, uh, which is titled as uh, Jumma Tabu Tingenzin. So Jumma Tabu Tingenzin Jindo. Tingenzin means uh, meditation, samadhi, and Jumma Tabu means uh, uh, illus illus illusion, like illusion, like a, uh, like a, Jumma is more like a magic, but more illu illu illusion. So, so, uh, so in this, uh, based on this sutra, then uh, uh, the uh, King Songsen Gampo, his uh, great work called Mani Gampum, there's several volumes. And uh, so in this, uh, he described everything, all the existence of your life, and also everything out there in the universe with uh, uh, eight uh, uh, examples of illusion, eight illusion examples. So I will go briefly with each one of them. Uh, so first, the body. Uh, body is like a uh, 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 let's say, uh, manifestation, uh, illusion. Because uh, I am human, with two hands. That's what you can see here, right? You can see only my top. Yeah, I'm cut from here. So, uh, so with two hands and one head, and there's two legs down there. So, uh, I manifest as uh, a person with uh, uh, ten, 10 head and uh, 20 arms and 20 legs. So that is a trupa, you know, manifestation, trupa. So the body is uh, 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 like a trupa because uh, 10 things that are illusion, uh, magical illusion. So first is trupa. And uh, so body is like a trupa. How? Because uh, five elements, earth, water, fire, air, and space, these five elements uh, manifest as this body. Nothing more, nothing less. 
and uh, so this way uh, this is this will not last this is not durable and this will decay and uh, it, it is it will be gone so how many are gone before us all of us will be not here after 50 years I don't see anybody below Maybe there's some people, maybe 20, 30, but uh, mm, uh, everybody is around uh, 40, 50. So another 50 year, you will be 100 or 110 or 20 or something. You know, uh, you will not be here. Uh, maybe with good luck, you might be here. But if you are in good shape, good. If you are not in good shape, you don't like to be here because uh, better change the body, you know. Uh, so come with, the, uh, come with the new one and uh, have a little holiday uh, called uh, a childhood. Childhood is a holiday. You don't have to think of anything, you just play and uh, be, do nonsense things and learn and relearn and relearn. <clears throat> so, so like that. So the, this, is, uh, this is not uh, durable. Uh, then second, uh, second is uh, uh, the the uh, dwelling area, uh, house, uh, home. Uh, all of that is uh, uh, like a, a, a city of the Gandrava. Gandrava is some kind of spirit uh, which does not have this kind of body. But, but have quite a bit of uh, power beyond the human. And, uh, and uh, uh, their uh, cities, uh, dwellings uh, varies. Some of, the, uh, some of they have uh, big cities just in our living room and uh, manifest and, uh, uh, and uh, dissolve. Uh, some of they have, uh, of course, enormous place uh, uh, but uh, some of them might have, uh, you know, when we, when we make uh, offerings to the Buddha uh, in our offering bowl with the water, uh, every time we clean them and we put them upside down when this is empty, we don't leave it like this. Because we, we believe that some of these Gandravas uh, can dwell in it, so next day you put the water in it, and it will destroy them. So, so we don't want to do that. So we, we put them upside down, or we put one like this, one like this, one like this, four of them like this. And in between, we put three of them like that. So all seven balls will be in very nice order, and uh, they will be covered so that, that uh, uh, they will not uh, uh, build a city there. You know, Tzitongchir, we say. So, uh, so, so it is like that because uh, uh, it will not remain there. Uh, so these uh, uh, cities of ours, dwellings of ours, are a little bit more solid than that, but it also will not be there. Every valley you go and dig a little bit, you find a ruin there. You know, uh, every mountain top you go, you dig a little bit, you, you find a ruin there of some castles, you know. Uh, so not very long time ago, maybe uh, five, uh, three, four hundred years ago, maybe one, two thousand years ago, maximum will be ten thousand years. That will be, uh, that will be big news. Find, found a ruin of ten thousand year uh, in somebody's backyard. So, so, that, that, so like this. Uh, these dwellings are just like that. And then uh, uh, all the uh, relatives and friends and uh, people around you, uh, they are just like, uh, 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 like a dream. Because in your dream, you will have so many uh, beings around you, friends, enemies, something that try to eat you and you are running like anything. So all of this, uh, so everything around us is like that. And, uh, and uh, uh, just like a, a dream. So the eight, eight example is eight aspect of uh, uh, illusion. 
So one is the uh, is manifestation. Uh, one is the uh, city of Gandravas. Uh, the third one is the uh, dream. Uh, so uh, so uh, uh, so all of our friends, all of our relatives, all of the loved ones, dear ones, we will part with them. Yes, sooner or later we will part with them. We wouldn't even know where they went. Because uh, when, when I die, when, when somebody die, uh, the sons and daughters of that person cannot find that person. You know, it's disappeared, gone. And uh, of course it's somewhere, but the uh, but universe is enormous and, uh, and uh, there's no speed limit um, uh, from one universe to another universe because it's part of the same thing. So we are here and there at the same time, minute after we, the moment after we are dead, it depends on what kind of pardo we are in. Anyway, after 45, 49 days, definitely we are wherever we are supposed to be. The, be. It uh, doesn't matter how far it is, uh, scientifically, uh, based on our uh, senses. Uh, so, uh, like this. Uh, so, we will be separated from everyone. Uh, I want to add something here. Uh, so, here it is mentioned about the loved ones, dear ones, relatives and friends. But then, there's also others who uh, of course, I don't think all of you have anyone that you hate, but then there's other people who might, uh, you, you are not there, you are not there, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, you are not their hobby, okay, and uh, uh, they're allergic to you. And uh, so, so uh, we call them, we, we call them enemies or ill-wishers or whatever, they shouldn't be there. Everybody should be friends, but then it doesn't work like that. Uh, so, uh, then uh, after that, uh, the uh, wealth or uh, a fortune. The fortune is uh, like a, uh, uh, a magical illusion. It is like a magical illusion. Uh, because uh, uh, it will uh, exhaust, it will be exhausted. So a magical illusion is such that it is there when it is being performed, but after that it is, uh, <clears throat> it is a, a magical, magic show is over, then there's no more magic there. So like that, fortune is like that. Uh, then uh, after that, uh, then uh, it is described uh, as uh, all phenomena, uh, uh, all phenomena of the universe, or all phenomena of the existence. They are uh, like. Uh, 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 they are like the reflection of the moon in the water. They are like the reflection of the moon. Uh, because uh, a reflection of the moon is there, but it is not the moon. It is reflection. So, so all phenomena is uh, just a manifestation of everyone and everything. But other than that, nothing is there, just like a reflection. So, so, uh, so that is the uh, fifth example. And then the sixth example is the fame. The, this is the fortune example. Now fame. Uh, fame is like a echo. So echo is uh, uh, there uh, just for a second. But as uh, uh, soon as echo is echoed, then it is uh, not there. So fame is uh, uh, absolutely uh, an illusion. Uh, then, uh, uh, then after that, uh, then uh, uh, 
food and beverage. Uh, so that is like a mirage. Uh, you will never get uh, uh, content. You will never, you will never get uh, satisfied. You, you can never say, I ate enough so I don't have to eat. No, you eat more, you want more, and then people drink something and they become addicted and become alcoholic and this and that. So, so uh, the people eat and eat, become obese or whatever. And uh, so that way, uh, food and beverage is an illusion. Uh, and uh, and the uh, example is the mirage. We see the mirage and then we think there is water, especially in the desert. Then animals go towards the mirage to looking for water. They will never get it. It can never quench their thirst. So like that, our food and beverage, we can never have, uh, we, we can never, never have enough of it. Uh, so uh, then last is uh, all sentient beings. Uh, so all sentient beings, the illusion example is uh, space. All sentient beings is like a space, is space. There is no uh, uh, end, there is no number, uh, there is no way to uh, say this much sentient beings are there. Uh, you cannot have a sentient being statistics of the entire space. You can have sentient being statistics of the earth, of course. Human we know, animal we don't know, but endangered ones we know how many tigers there, how many elephants there, how many rhinoceros are there, we know. Uh, and then right now we have a new one. Uh, is, is this COVID-19 sentient being? I don't know. If it is, then I think it is, uh, it is, uh, it is something that uh, we, uh, we managed to, how do you say, have con uh, communication with. And uh, right now uh, we are miscommunicating. So we have to know how to communicate with this one. And uh, so if it is a sentient being, otherwise, otherwise it goes into the um, pre previous one which is the uh, fifth one. So if COVID-19 is not a sentient being, then it goes into the fifth uh, example of illusion. And uh, uh, then if it is a sentient being, then the last one. So it is like a space. There's no end, uh, there's no center, there's no edge. Uh, it is uh, 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 unthinkable, unimaginable, ineffable. Uh, so, so, so that way it is a uh, illusion. Now uh, this boils down to, uh, the, I consider this is uh, for me, for myself, uh, the, the, um, uh, the uh, work of the uh, Songtsen Gampo, Dharma King Songtsen Gampo, uh, the Manika Bum, it is a few volumes and uh, in that, uh, this I find uh, very useful for myself because uh, uh, all the um, uh, shortcomings, both uh, attachment as well as uh, obstacle, uh, it is uh, coming from all of these things. Uh, I am not progressing in the enlightenment uh, the way I wish to be because of these things. So when, according to the sutra, then the uh, eight example is taken out and it is put there uh, by the Songtsen Gampo uh, and this teaching, uh, this, his work is called Mani Gampo. Mani Gambu, Mani is Omani Penehu, so Mani Gambu, so in the Mani Gambu. And, uh, and uh, this way, then uh, I can overcome intellectually. Then I can overcome 
experientially. And then what is left is I have to realize. And that take a bit of time, uh, relatively speaking, because uh, I think I have realized it, uh, but then uh, I, it looks like uh, uh, it, it is like I am dream, dreaming inside a dream. I think uh, I woke up from my dream, but actually I woke up from one dream into another dream. So this way, this way, all of these uh, eight, uh, eight particulars, uh, example of uh, illusions, are uh, extremely, extremely uh, uh, deeply uh, beneficial for me personally. So, uh, so this, and uh, what is the hindrance for having a meaningful life? is all of these things. We have uh, so much attachment for body, uh, how, home, uh, family, uh, uh, you know, friends, even me, uh, I have no, I, I am not supposed to have a family, but I have a family. I have a brother, sister, cousin, this, that. And uh, so, so, and then not, uh, so uh, my attachment for them is not that much. Uh, but then, uh, but then I have so many friends like all of you. And uh, so, so there is uh, a lot of, uh, uh, lot of, uh, 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 sometimes maybe attachment is a bit too strong a word, but uh, so much of uh, identifying myself with uh, everyone that I know. And uh, then uh, uh, sometimes uh, not so good thing is, uh, I also end up uh, identifying myself with uh, those who are allergic to me. You know, so, so that, that way, that way it becomes, uh, it becomes uh, an obstacle as well as uh, it becomes a limitation. And uh, so, uh, uh, so, so this is uh, very beneficial. And uh, uh, now to make uh, another, uh, to look at this uh, a meaningful life from another angle, that is, uh, if you are able to remain same in every situation and environment that you encounter and you are able to maintain the equanimity in all of the uh, uh, situations and conditions that life offers to you. Then you have achieved something about a meaningful life. Uh, I give you one example. Uh, for us to stand, you know, how much space do we need? Two of our feet need that much of a uh, solid earth to stand. And if we just stand, feel nothing. We can stand five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour, no problem. But if we if that too small space below our foot become like a pillar, and if it is 10 feet high, then very difficult to sit still, you know, feel that I'm going to fall here, I'm going to fall there. And if this is, uh, this is uh, 20 feet high, then that would be a torture, because uh, uh, you definitely will fall. It, it's not, not just that you think you will fall, but you will fall because you have uh, just uh, uh, like a, a shoe size uh, uh, pillar top 
uh, standing on two of them and they're 20 feet high and you 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 think uh, you, it will be terrifying yes okay now i make it a little bigger so 10 feet by 10 feet uh, platform okay that's really big we can do yoga in it we can exercise tai chi in it and uh, we can even do some somersault on it you know 10 feet by 10 feet is pretty big okay so you are in on that that platform and standing 10 feet and it is 10 feet high no problem if it is 100 feet high oh you cannot you cannot stand on on there you can't even sleep on there you can't even lay down on there you think you will fall off and you will i think fall off if it is 200 feet high if it is 10 feet uh, wide flat uh, uh, platform uh, which is ten, uh, 200 feet high uh, there's a great probability that out of your uh, um, uh, insecurity uh, and fear uh, you will tremble and uh, you will make yourself fall off from it you will manage to fall off from it so so th this this way i think uh, uh, i used to think uh, this is a very good example because uh, in uh, our dharma practice uh, we can have all kind of experience we can have all kind of knowledge but those experience and this those knowledge should give us the in Tibetan language called ding. Ding means uh, like a deep certainty and confidence and certainty. And uh, with that, until we have that certainty, then, uh, then uh, we are, uh, we are uh, shakeable. Uh, we are uh, easily influenced. Uh, even uh, small things uh, can uh, look like a very big thing. And uh, uh, good things and bad things both will affect us. Uh, so, uh, uh, therefore, uh, we are born as a human being, which is pretty good. And then, uh, 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 before we die, we are not able to progress any further. Uh, and then uh, not very good, not very meaningful life. But uh, even we don't progress as such, but if we did not degenerate, uh, then uh, we should consider uh, not too bad. Uh, but uh, uh, our, uh, 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 but my, my ambition, my ambition is from birth, to death, I wanted to improve by 1%. That is my ambition. And uh, improve, improve in everything, improve in knowledge, improve in experience, improve, improve in wisdom, improve in realization. Uh, so in everything, then in 100 life, I will be Buddha, you know? So, so that would be uh, uh, that would be uh, quite a, a shortcut, and uh, in in one hundred life I can be Buddha, and each life would be one percent better. Uh, then uh, I go for it, you know, I go for it. So this way, uh, my humble, uh, uh, my humble definition of a meaningful life is we become one percent more kind one percent more compassionate one percent more wisdom one percent more enlightened one percent uh, uh, one percent uh, deeper uh, realization so everything one percent and then uh, if that is the case then i will uh, call that a meaningful life
of course, ultimate definition of a meaningful life will be like Prince Dart, who was born as Prince Dart, and then uh, he attained Buddhahood uh, when he was 35 years of age. And uh, so that very ambitious person, but uh, when it comes to mm, this kind of uh, definition, then I'm not that ambitious because uh, uh, it, it, but because uh, oh, uh, uh, reaching Buddhahood uh, in uh, when I am 35 years old is uh, uh, beyond my reach because I'm already 67 years old. So that is uh, beyond uh, my reach. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, as far as the Dharma is concerned, the kind of Dharma, the teaching that we have, of course, if we truly practice them, we can attain Buddhahood in one life, just like Buddha Shakyamuni, just like Guru Bhattva Sabhava, just like Milarepa. We can. But uh, are we uh, really uh, going for it the same way as Buddha Shakyamuni or Prince Siddharth, let's say the, uh, in, this, in this context, are we going for it like a Prince Siddharth? No, we are not. Are we going for it like a Milarepa? Maybe you are, but I'm not. Are we going to going for it like a uh, like a uh, Guru Padma Sambhava? No way. So this way, this way, uh, that's why um, even 67 years old, uh, not enlightened, but talking about enlightenment, talking about a meaningful life. I am honored to talk about the meaningful life. Yes, to good people, all of you. Yes, I'm honored. But uh, uh, why I can say I'm honored? Because, because of the Buddha Shakyamuni, because of all the unbroken lineage of the Buddha Shakyamuni's enlightenment. Uh, so uh, people like me uh, 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 received so much blessing, so much teaching, precious teaching, and uh, teaching with the lineage. That way, I can talk to you with Ding. Uh, I have no hesitation to say what I am saying because I have full, not just faith, but full uh, 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 confidence and uh, uh, my understanding is, uh, is uh, 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 I am content because of the integrities of my gurus. You know, uh, this Samaya, Samaya is uh, uh, sometimes looks like misunderstood. Samaya is not some kind of uh, trap, you know. Uh, Samaya is integrity, yes. So you should have integrity. And integrity is uh, important in everything. To be a mother, you should have integrity. To be a father, you should have integrity. To be a teacher, you should have integrity. In my case, I am the servant of Buddha, especially the Buddha that I represent Buddha Shakyamuni, of course, and especially his disciple, uh, Lord Maitreya. I am his uh, servant. And uh, Guru Padma Sambhava, I am his servant. Marpa Lotawa, I am his servant. And starting from, from the Situ Dongun Rechen, I am their servant. And starting from the first Thai Situ, uh, 1407, 
uh, starting from that until now, uh, 12 incarnations of that great master, I am their servant because of my gurus and their integrity, I am able to have this uh, full uh, uh, contentment in the teachings that I have received. So therefore, I dare to teach you what I have received. And it has the blessing of all of them. So that way, I can say, if I die tomorrow, I'm not going to die. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pr pretty good, you know. Uh, it is the, it, 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 it is, uh, it's, uh, uh, I am not in the lobby, uh, waiting, uh, lobby of the, the airport, uh, waiting to take off to another place. I'm not in the I'm not in the in the in the in the airport, uh, but uh, but having said that, if I die tomorrow, uh, I really have nothing to regret because everything that I have done is I have done with my utmost, and uh, and my understanding, my perception, my motivation. I understand and have full confidence in them because of the integrities of, the, my, of all of my masters. And uh, so that way I can say, I have uh, not big A, you know, big A, not a capital A, not a golden A, uh, not a diamond A, but uh, I think uh, uh, a, a hyphen that looks like an A, okay? A, a hyphen that looks like an A, a meaningful life. I can say I have, I had. So then uh, every moment, every day, I try to progress through this. So, uh, at the end of the day, you know, uh, when the chapter is about to be closed, then uh, I can go smiling and say goodbye. Okay, and uh, so for that, uh, for that, uh, I am really honored, and I'm happy to be with all of you, and, and uh, I hope for that uh, a technological hiccup. Uh, did not really uh, cause you uh, that much of an inconvenience. Uh, I think uh, because of the uh, lock up and lockdown for so long, uh, uh, many of you might be uh, quite okay. Uh, because uh, it's very interesting. Uh, everything is mind. That is what all the teachings say. Everything is your, your perception. Hundred years back, let's say hundred, hundred uh, twenty years back. I think hundred is not not the wrong 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 time, but hundred twenty years back, or even hundred years back, for me to communicate with you, and for you to communicate with me in writing, uh, send a letter, and get a reply. How much time does it take? You know, 100 years ago, what I have to do is I have to write the letter, send it to you, and then it will go all the way to the, to the coast, to the shipyard. Then from there, it will be uh, posted in the ship's uh, uh, posting service. And then it has to go on the ocean. And uh, those days, maybe, uh, maybe uh, the, the Swiss canal is not there. Uh, Suez Canal is not there, Panama Canal is not there, so have to go all around, go anywhere you have to go around. Even the ship, you know, takes such a long time. And uh, then you will, you probably will get my letter, probably. It might end up in the 
the bottom of the sea, you know. Uh, but uh, but uh, but you probably get, will get my letter, and you probably will read my letter. I'm sure you will read it. That I'm sure. Those days, you know, everything is so rare. So 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 people would be so thrilled to receive a letter from from somebody called Taisidu from India. Uh, then you will be you you will read it for sure. And, uh, and then you will do, you will reply it, uh, perhaps. And uh, uh, to reply it and send it to me, then you have to go through so many things. Mm, but anyway, you have to get the things uh, into the postal service, and they have to get to the to the, the shipyard, and then it goes into the ship, and then 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 come over. So if that ship does not capsize. Uh, or attacked by pirates and sunken, and then uh, then I will receive the letter, you know, and uh, I will receive the letter, and, uh, and then uh, that will be, I think, a couple of months, maybe years, maybe years, and uh, still people think it's okay, and then we can see each other, and uh, uh, I can hear you talk, you can hear me talk. Uh, I can see your expression, you can see my expression, uh, uh, but still, uh, if we are stuck for five minutes, ten minutes, we are annoyed. You know, we are annoyed and uh, uh, nothing wrong with that, but that is the reality. You know, we don't have to wait for even one hour. Uh, it, it, it happens so fast. Anyway, uh, I uh, apologize on behalf of whoever is responsible, the electricity company or battery company or wire company or whoever is responsible or, you know, uh, anything that went wrong here. I don't know. I didn't do anything. I tell you, I guarantee you, I didn't do anything. I don't know how to mess with these things. You know, I told you I'm IT idiot. So, so I don't know how to handle these things. But anyway, I apologize to you on behalf of everyone. But uh, I hope the teaching on a meaningful life was meaningful for you. For me, very meaningful. Each time I go through this, especially when I teach people, then I learn a lot myself. So uh, one good session of teaching like this, for me, honestly speaking, is equivalent to studying on this subject for maybe a couple of weeks. And some things, you know, maybe that is blessing or that is a recollection because uh, I was taught by so many masters for so many years, then many things just come through and uh, I didn't plan but they come through and uh, this is also uh, is uh, very meaningful for me and uh, uh, people say I am an artist uh, of course I try to paint and stuff that's my hobby uh, so that way sometimes when I explain things you know uh, people think artists are a little eccentric and uh, I hope I'm not, uh, ex I don't sound and appear eccentric, but uh, anyway, I don't mean to. I don't mean to because subject is very precious. I don't want it to uh, make, uh, I, don't, I don't want it to bring down this such a precious subject to a joking level. But uh, what can I do? You know, I'm born like this. So you have to, you have to accept me as where I am. And uh, I try to be stern and I try to be, you know, try to keep a long face, but uh, very difficult for me. And uh, I guess I don't know what is uh, stressed out exactly means, but somehow I become more tired. Uh, for trying to be uh, uh, to to keep a straight face, then be honest and uh, and uh, uh, 
express uh, sincerely. Uh, so that is uh, uh, in itself is like a, a practice and prayer for me. So wish you all my best. And uh, uh, time is uh, uh, very fast uh, when we are taught doing something meaningful. Uh, of course, uh, I have uh, so much to say on this subject of a meaningful life, but this is uh, uh, particularly, uh, I feel uh, appropriate to share the Songsen Gampo's uh, teaching. It is not Songsen Gampo's teaching, actually it is Lord Buddha's teaching from the Sutra but then Songsen Gambo put it into this order to describe everything is illusion, okay? So right now, we all facing an enormous illusion and which is eye-opener because all the people on earth are seven and a half billion people on earth all uh, wearing the same thing and all uh, staying home, you know, staying home. I have been here since, uh, since the uh, uh, end of March, March 20th or something. And uh, so I am here. Uh, I'm not in Palpung Sherab Ling. I am Palpung Yeshe Rabje Ling. Palpun Sherabling is uh, in Kangra district. I am in Kulu district. So in different district, uh, but uh, I am here for all these uh, months. And uh, uh, it was, uh, it is, it is, uh, it is uh, 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 very nice that uh, I am talking to you from here. And uh, so all the best for all of you and uh, have a, a nice uh, uh, day uh, or night or whatever uh, you, uh, you are anticipating right now and then nice week and nice month. And next month, the second Sunday, you no, know, we have three Sundays. So, so, so next Sunday, uh, then uh, uh, sun will shine upon you and upon me, the son of the Dharma. And the uh, second son is uh, what is freedom. So the first son is uh, uh, a meaningful life. So now second son will be uh, what is freedom. Uh, this, all of these are enormous, mega subjects, but uh, uh, I always uh, try, this is trying, I always try my best to make it simple as possible. Because uh, uh, something that I understand, I can make it simple. Something I don't understand, then I will say it is very complicated. When I say it is very complicated, you know, I give you my secret. If I say this is very complicated, that means I don't understand. Okay, so the computer is very complicated. I don't understand. And I, uh, so there, there, therefore, therefore, uh, uh, therefore uh, I say it is complicated. So I'm looking forward to share the sacred Dharma in the form of, uh, in the context of what is freedom a month from now, okay? All right, so all of you worked very diligently and uh, to put this uh, teaching together and here, and uh, uh, I didn't work hard at all. It is a pleasure and joy and honor to share the precious teaching that I have received. Especially when I can share 
in this way, in a simplified manner, I find it very refreshing and uh, and uh, and meaningful. So let us dedicate the merit of today's teaching for the benefit of all sentient beings, and particularly to have a, a meaningful life. We dedicate our merit so that all sentient beings will have a meaningful life. And then immediately, uh, of course, the uh, world should be, uh, should overcome this uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this is, uh, I say this because uh, it is in everybody's mind. It is there, so big, enormous, and everybody can see its shape. Everybody can hear its sound. Everybody can smell it. And everybody can feel it. That way we can dedicate so that it will be, uh, uh, it will be over. And if COVID-19 is a bug, a sentient being, then uh, that should be uh, more enlightened so that it will cooperate with all the sentient beings in our body in a positive way so that instead of getting sick, the uh, uh, moment we get the COVID-19, it becomes the medicine and uh, we will get well. Okay? So should, it should be like that. If it is not a sentient being, then I don't know uh, how to say that. But of course, of course, transformation is the, uh, the principle of the Vajrayana teaching. So this negative, uh, harmful thing should be transformed into positive and meaningful and helpful thing. So we, we dedicate for that as well. Sunam the Tamje Zikba Nitomne Nebe Dunam Pamje Nejaga Naja, Balap Tuba, Sibi, Solen, Doardo, Show, Jalapa, Jetara Chamba, Kundu Zambo, Tayan Tesi, the Dakunji, Jesus, Alamo, Gawan, the Tatam, Jarato, Sanje, Kusun, Nebe, Slabatan, Chenu, Jordan, Slabatan, Kendal, Chin, Dimbe, Slabati. ตะบวนวันตุบรโชจินาตะวะโซซุเปนเดนนองไคจับประชุดูนาตงหลดดากิกุรโควาตุมัดจิจัมจงตองตะรโชอัมเบนเดรสะตุสมัยมานุบา